Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And today we're going to be reviewing the Signet Apollo case for the iPhone 5. This is a hybrid case and you can go check it out at www.signet.com. And Signet is spelled C-Y-G-N-E-T-T. -T. So guys, we've been reviewing uh, Signet products for a couple of years now. I've been really impressed with their stuff. And uh, here are some new offerings for the iPhone 5. So the Signet Apollo retails for $29.99 on their website, and it comes in uh, three different co colors. It comes in the snow white, the jet black, and or the snow white, the uh, wake blue, and the jet black. So we have the white and the blue here. Uh, we do not have the black. And uh, let's kind of open this up and show you what you get with it. So obviously you get the case, and you get a screen shield and uh, the squeegee. So uh, it's nice that Signet includes the screen shield. A lot of companies do not include screen shields now, so it's nice that they put that in there for you. So let's move all this aside, and uh, you know we've kind of put on white stuff on the phone all the time, so we're going to try the blue. So let's zoom in here a little bit, and uh, we're going to go around the case for you, and then we will put it on and show you all the openings. It is an anti-scratch, impact-resistant case and it is a uh, TPU style case and um, well let's get right into it. On the inside you've got these kind of grooves here okay which gives you a little bit of protection I don't know I think I got a piece of dirt in there and uh, it's a I want to say a hard plastic but it's a rougher uh, uh, more durable plastic on the inside TPU. On the outside we've got the color and then we've got the gray around with the Signet uh, insignia or logo there on the bottom. So it seems like a really nice case, and uh, let's get the phone into it. So just so you guys know, I am rocking a um, Bodyguards Pure on the front and uh, no screen shield on the back. So typical, we put our button side first in, and we just snap it in there. So as you can see, it does give us a little bit of lay on the table design. And again, I am using a tempered glass screen shield, and I have no problems with that. Um, not only is it not bubbling, it is not even touching, so that's nice. Uh, very little lay on the table design, uh, less with the tempered glass screen shield because it is about three millimeters thicker. Um, but if you were not rocking a tempered glass screen shield, you'd have a little bit more lay on the table design. So let's kind of go over all the openings and then we'll give you my uh, final impressions. So on the bottom here, we have a separate opening for your speaker microphone and your lightning port. The nice thing about these lightning ports is they're much smaller, so the opening is smaller. Therefore, it gives the uh, cases now a lot more rigidity. Okay, We don't have that big opening that we have to span that big opening. Your headphone jack is a really nice cutout. It's a uh, kind of recessed there, a little bit indented, and it's got a nice fixture there, so you shouldn't have any problem with any uh, third-party headphones. Moving over to this side, we do have the uh, covered volume switch up and down, and we have the vibrate switch, and the vibrate switch, it's a little bit deep and it's a little bit small, so you may have a little problem if you have kind of pudgy fingers like me. Um, I wish that was a little bit bigger. On the top, we have our uh, sleep wake button and power button there. On the left hand side, nothing. And we have a nice big cutout for the camera and flash. The one thing that I do notice about the Apollo guys is, if you can see, kind of let's put that, these buttons are a little bit angled. And I think this is gonna be a matter of taste if you like these or not. You're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them. Also on the top, you can see that this button, uh, it's a little bit angled, not as much as the others, okay? But a uh, very nice tactile feel on the top button and on the bottom button, let's kind of open that up. Nice tactile feel there too. Again, the thing that you're gonna uh, notice on these buttons here is that because of the angle, let's see here, because of their angle, you're gonna know where the top and the bottom is. So you're, like I said, you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. I do know that they do feel different, okay? So I don't dislike them. It's just that they feel a little bit different. So here on the bottom, one of the things that I was concerned about on uh, some of the iPhone 4 cases is that this would be a little flimsy because of the span. Not an issue anymore. Nice solid span there. And it's a nice rugged TPU style case that is anti-scratch. So that is the white, 
I mean the blue. Here is the white, and I've been using the blue for about, I don't know, three or four days, and I haven't noticed any scratches, no scratches in there, nothing. So a nice surface that'll hold up quite well. So guys, if you have any questions on uh, the Signet Apollo, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. Follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. If you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. Again, if you want to go check this out, go check them out at www.signet.com. $29.99. Uh, you can buy it off their website, and they're starting to uh, show up in a lot more uh, retail stores in the U.S., um, I couldn't name them off the top of my head, but go to the Signet website. You'll get all the information there. Again, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Remember, tell the ones you love you love them today. And until next time, you guys have a great day.